new children's books around is called The Runaway Rice Cake. It's a delightful story about the importance of Chinese New Year and the spirit of generosity. It's so wonderful. I just can't stop reading it. Listen to this. The whole family pitched in to cook the rice cake. While it steamed, they took turns peeking to see if it was done. Finally, Mama took the rice cake out of the steamer. Can we cut it up now? Ming asked hungrily. Yes, said Mama, but as she reached for the knife, something incredible happened. The rice cake came alive! It popped out of the pan. It rolled past the Stun Chang family, out of the kitchen, and out of their tiny home. You know, almost better than reading this book is eating. And as a special treat on today's Home Matters Kids Show, we have the author of The Runaway Rice Cake with us, Ying Chang Compostine. How's it going over there, Chris? Very well. Very nice words and very nice reading. I'm here with Ying Chang Coppenstein and her son, Vincent. What, what was the impetus for writing that book? What, what made, it's a beautiful book, illustrated too. Thank you. Uh, it's really about three things. The first thing is about the magic rice cake went away. Mm -hmm. And the second one is uh, more or less in about sharing and compassion. Mm. And the third one is how we celebrate Chinese New Year. And a big part of the Chinese New Year is the cake that we're going right, to make today. the rice cake. The rice cake. And we have it beautifully decorated with a nice little smiley face. And it is an easy recipe to make. I mean, you do both very children's easy. books and cookbooks. And this is very simple to do, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. You ready, Vincent? You want to help mix the ingredients? This is a very, really fun thing to do okay. with your kids. First, we're going to have a, a sweet rice flour. Sweet rice flour. This now, what's is the, made, what made is with it? rice, a special rice. So it's just oh! like, well, and it smokes <laughs> okay. a lot, too. Yeah. Okay. Then this is a baking, what, baking soda? Powder. Baking powder. powder. Okay. Now, does Vincent help you in the kitchen when you're cooking? Oh, yeah. We do a lot of cooking together. Oh, good. And it's real. Out. See? Little accident. Okay. Other things? That's the best part about cooking. Yeah. Little accidents. <laughs> and we're doing sugar. Sugar. Okay. Put in the sugar. Great. Okay. And the nuts. Oh, we're putting there. the nuts in too? Yeah. You want oh, to put in the nuts? Okay. And raisins. And finally raisins. Yeah. Now you talked about the Chinese New Year. It usually falls, it's late January, early February. Early February, yes. An and important part of that is, uh, and it's the moral of the book, is sharing and compassion. giving, and uh -huh. compassion, yeah. giving away, in fact. And then we're going to, yeah, you can mix that. We're going to mix, this is some eggs, and we're going to mix the egg oil. No, I would do the egg. <laughs> this is just you like can, in the uh, kitchen. Yeah. So you do that, well, now we're now we're doing the wet, we just did the dry. Yeah, and then the water. A little water. And, and what is the oil we put in? Uh, just it? a canola oil. Oh, canola oil. Okay, Good. then we're going to mix the wet, add the wet ingredients. This. Okay. Very good, Vincent. Good job. You looking at mine, Vincent? You checking mine out? You want? Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. she's doing very good. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay. wet and dry all together. Yeah. So we're gonna this mix is, this together. You have a lot of different recipes in your cookbooks. Also, this one is uh, has got tradition and is simple, but it does more than just desserts. You have more than just desserts yeah. in your book. Uh, yeah, and you know, I love. I have two passion which is uh, food and children. So I write cookbooks and I write children's book. And all my children's book have a recipe at back and uh, they have always have something to do with Chinese tradition. Okay, I think we can put this in the cake pan. Now who traditionally makes this at home? Do you make it or? It's, you know, it's always, you know, when I was growing up, I always make this with my mom. Oh, so really? it's a, yeah, very traditional. It's a traditional recipe you make with your children at the New Year's Eve. You could just eat this. You don't even have to bake it. You could just take the batter right now, right? You can just lick the spoon right now. Yeah. Should we cook it anyway? Yeah, we let's cook. bake it anyway. Yeah, let's put this... Uh... So we'll take our little greased pans, and we're just pouring in, right? Yep, pour it in. Pour, pour, I get pour. Good job. See, I get a good help. You know, we don't have to clean up so well. No. You know, that's Eww. good. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you do it, too. Yeah, there you go. Good job. All right, now okay. we take these. I'll take Benson, these. You want to help? Take Benson, this. you're gonna help me. Come on down. No. Okay. And we will put, now, how long would these go in at one temperature? Uh, 350 in about 40 minutes. Good job, Benson. Yeah, keep looking. That's the best part. Yeah. And then it would come out and it would look exactly yeah. like yeah. this. Yeah. Benson, you want to go? Chris. Hey, how are you, Susan? You invite me to taste the cake. Uh, you're so here I now. Myself. <laughs> you yeah. came anyway. And, and I this brought is... along with me one oh. of the kids that I was reading to. This is Richard. Richard, where do you go to school? Inverness Primary. Yeah. Do you like to eat sweets? Yeah. Okay. You're good. in the right place. You're in okay. The right place. So, so after the baked, it's right. really easy to come out. We we'll put the plate on and we'll flip it. 
And the best part is you can decorate it with raisins. Would with... you like to help decorate it? Yeah, get yeah. up there. Jump Both on up. Okay. And there's, the sky's the limit. We've got, and what is the little display you have out front? This is a very traditional Chinese New Year treat. And normally you have this, uh, you know, in your, this is a watermelon seed. Watermelon seeds. Mm. Good. Yeah. And, and you have a little sugar. sugar. And a winter melon candy. Oh. My mother always and told me if I ate watermelon okay, seeds, I'd grow a watermelon in my stomach. <laughs> right. Other myths. We'll talk about that later in the show. Other myths of yeah. Ninja. And so now can we cut it and taste it a little bit? Yes. Yes. Let's get a knife. I got a knife. You guys stay He's away got from a the knife. knife. You guys stay uh, away from the okay. knife. Okay. Listen, that's enough there. Watch if it's a, me with a knife. Just ask Susan. It could get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but if you put chocolate sauce on this, oh, would it still man. be considered Chinese New Year? It would be like an East meet West. West meet East. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put chocolate on anything. It's good. Here you go. I'll give you each a slice mm, to taste. I can see there's a creamy center there. Yep. <gasps> oh. Oh. Yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead, Vincent. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this one's cooked a lot before. Oh, no, How is that good? How is mm, it? Good? Delicious. And, and in fact, oh, oh, you, we have the little rip. Now just explain those to us. And at the end of the you know New Year's feast, and it, all the children will get good luck money, the red bag. Mm -hmm. So this is a very traditional thing. So and in fact, we're giving them away. We have little giveaways. They're fortune cookies and little red bags for everybody in the audience. Richard, do you, you like, like do you like the way the cake tastes? Yeah. Is it sweet enough for you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Richard, in fact, we're going to give you a copy also of the Runaway Rice Cake. Okay? Yay! Thank you so much. Thank Lee. you. Thank you, oh. Vincent.